The Uber driver app is just an amazing piece of technology. It's remarkable. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five, a handful, five lesser known features which I find very valuable. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my number one uh, tool that I like to use, particularly during the Uber pool rides. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today I'm gonna to break out five uh, features of the Uber app which are a little bit lesser known, but which I think are really useful. So let's get started with number one. Okay, number one, speed up your pickups. I would say about half the time when I go to pick up a passenger, they are not toes on the sidewalk, right? They are not there ready to go. And sometimes there's some latency with the app. So they think you're still a couple blocks away. Well, Uber's got this really nice little feature where you can just send them a pre-typed up message. And if you look at the screenshot here, you can see uh, all you need to do is tap on the little phone icon and then po what pops up are these little messages. Um, and the one I click is I have arrived. And then you can see in the, the third screenshot, uh, it's like uh, we're having a chat, right? And sometimes the passenger will get back in touch with me and say, I'm on my way. Um, but Regardless, you're letting them know a couple of things. One, you're letting them know that you're there. And two, you want to let them know that, that you want them to get out and, and meet with you so that they can avoid a cancellation fee. So it serves a lot of purposes. But number two, boost your profile. So you got this profile, and I know as me as a, as a passenger, I always like to check out the profile of the driver. And a lot of passengers do. They may not even say anything, but they look at it. And you can edit it to kind of market yourself a little bit. So let's take a look at the screenshot here. And you can see, uh, you just click on your little face in the upper right hand corner. And then you click in the second screenshot, you see you click where it says uh, platinum, you see it says profile there. And then that opens it up. Okay, so you can look at your profile. As you can see here, it says Nomad J. And then I've got my website. So you can put your website there, and if somebody's interested in a conversation you've had, they can then go and check out your website. And you can edit it to include all kinds of things. Um, you know, it, for example, it says, I know English, I'm from Northern California, you can put your hometown. It shows how many trips and how long you've been doing it and some of your stats, right? Um, but the main thing I'm suggesting there is where you can put a little bit of information about yourself. Put something, if you have something to sell, some service to offer, that's a great place to boost your profile. Number three is use the final ride feature more often. I use it a lot, okay? Of course you're gonna use it when you're ready to take a break or when you're ready to end your shift, right? You're basically telling Uber and Lyft, I don't want any more rides after this particular ride. Now, if you don't know how to, how to do that, um, just take a look right here. So down at the bottom there, you see those three little lines. That's what you're gonna click on and that opens up what's called the trip planner. And then at the bottom center, you see the red hand, well, the red circle with the white hand. You tap on that and then you see in the third screen, it says request stopped. So, and then if you wanted to, um, let's say you change your mind, you just press on that again and it goes back to being red. But I also use this, for example, let's say I've got, I've taken a long trip down, for example, to San Jose, and I don't want to do any rides in San Jose unless they're heading back towards San Francisco. So I will set that to my last ride. That way I can stop, I can maybe go get a coffee, and then I can set my destination filter to head back, and that way I won't get any rides that I'm gonna to have to cancel on because I don't want to do any rides specifically down in, in San Jose. So that's another great time to use it. Number four is changing the destination mid-trip. This happened just the last week where I was taking an older couple to the airport and the guy halfway there forgot his laptop and we had to turn around. And he didn't know how to change the destination and I didn't remember where exactly we were going. So I had to do it myself. And as you can see in the screenshot, the way you do that is you um, tap on the address, okay, where it says right there, it says Folsom Street. And then once that opens up, you see where the circle is? There's like a little pencil that's to edit it. So you click on that, and then that opens up the third screenshot there you see where you can type in the address. 
and uh, and you hit return and you're and you're on your way and then you can hit navigate and it'll take you there so if your passenger doesn't know how to do that that's how you do it and uh, it's a very useful tool so that you can help your passenger and um, you know just avoid a lot of confusion okay the fifth and my favorite is knowing how to cancel on individual passengers during an uber pool so this happens quite a bit when i'm going to the airport um, i love my car but it does not have a massive massive trunk so if i have uh let's say two people and they have significantly big pieces of luggage um, or two pieces each um, i'm not going to have enough room for a third passenger or sometimes i might get two parties of, t of i get a uh, twos you know i get one party uh, but they've there's two people and they've each got two pieces of luggage so i can't take anyone else um so what happens then is you get a ping because they're willing you know uber thinks you can still add one more person but you don't have any room so if you look at the screenshots here you can see how you can cancel individual passengers so you start off again by clicking on the trip planner and then for that specific passenger where those three little dots are um, that's where you're going to click on that and then you've got to give a reason why you're canceling so you can just click on problem with the pickup route that's fine down at the bottom it says none of the above click on any one of them and that'll open up the last screenshot where it says cancel trip and that will cancel just that individual passenger so that you can continue on to the airport in this example and, and not uh, have that passenger waiting, wondering what's going on because you're continuing to drive to the airport. So it's a great feature. Key takeaways here, amazing app. There's some, I just listed five that I think are uh, useful and lesser known, a little more in the weeds, but I hope you found some value in those and you got a few more little, little uh, tricks up your sleeve now uh, with the Uber app. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do, you know? This is the place where rideshare drivers just come to learn everything there is that's going on in the industry. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.